Yeah, stuff is everywhere. Hey, buddy. I got a big old mess. I'm straightening out a bunch of paperwork. I made Spencer a little flag with a dragon playing an accordion. And then I made Sebastian one with a triceratops playing some kind of a horn. And today I made, uh, what did I do? I made three servings of lentil soup. I made two big servings of lemon pasta, one I ate for supper. Two of the lentil soups I put in the freezer. <laughs> kind of nice, you know, all of a sudden you reach in there and you pull something out that you just need to warm up. Mmm. And I still have two servings of vegetable soup in the refrigerator. They had Ben and Jerry's on sale. So I got chocolate therapy. I needed it. <laughs> I haven't had chocolate therapy since I worked at Ben and Jerry's in 2007. Or six. That wasn't my favorite. Pumpkin cheesecake is good. Strawberry cheesecake is probably one of my favorites. The cat likes it too. I don't know what he's up to. <laughs> In the last five, six minutes, all of a sudden, my allergies have just gone crazy. Either that or the allergy pill finally wore off from this morning. I have to go take one and go to bed. Are you purring? Can you purr for the people? Purr for the people. Power to the people. Purr for the people. <laughs> yeah, Mama's here. Yeah. So I've been making a bunch of meals and did a bunch of dishes. And I started getting all this paperwork out so that I can sort it, pitch it, and figure out where the hell I'm going to put stuff around here. I've been watching, as I've been hand sewing something, I've been watching... Uh, <clears throat> Tips and tricks, of life hacks, and how to store things when you don't have much room. Well, the people that tell you that have great big houses. I have 325 square feet. And this room is small. And, ow! <clears throat> have to fit everything everywhere. I just cannot accumulate anything. If I get another t-shirt, I have to throw one away. That's how much, how crammed it is. So, yeah, I got to take care of all this junk Ola, hopefully tomorrow. And I'll get uh, the little banner thing over to Sebastian, to Mama over there. And I wanted to see the baby when Spencer wasn't around because he gets so upset that he's not the center of attention. And he knows that Nana will put him number one and keep him entertained and he that's why he likes coming over here. I I want it to be cleaned up so that I don't I don't have to worry about him. He always finds the things that he could get the hurt hurt the most on. He finds those immediately. Like uh, a seam ripper. I'm sewing. This is a seam ripper. And it's got a point and it's got a little razor part. This is old. This is like 50 years old. I have another seam ripper, but it's it's somewhere else. But it like if you're taking the seam apart, you can maneuver with it instead of trying to cut it apart or whatever. Anyway, yeah, sinus drainage is starting up. I think I'll put on the air cleaner tonight. Brian came over here and he said, what is it that's burning? It smells electrical. And I said, I'm just making soup. And I let him smell the pot of soup. He goes, that's not it. And then I heard, Brian. And then he went back over. He goes, oh, never mind, Mom. We found out what it was. I said, what is it? When they were finished cooking, they have, <clears throat> or they were cooking and one pan handle was over the fire and was starting to burn <laughs> or something. I said, well, it's a good thing you caught it. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit of everything happening. That's life, you know. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I was thinking of getting banned books, books that are banned and reading them, just to see what the heck they're about and why they're banning them. 
There's a lot of books I've not read. I've only read things like Pippi Longstockings and A Wrinkle in Time and you know, uh, books like that and Kurt Vonnegut books. And I don't read that much because I fall asleep. And Hitchhiker's Guide, I read all those. A big fan, big fan. I even listened to those on uh, cassette. <laughs> I have it all on cassette. I have to make a tape for Felix on cassette. I'm going to make another story with a moose or another moose or something. I haven't done that yet, but I want to get this paperwork crap out of the way so that I can feel a sigh of relief. And then back there <clears throat> is all that crap. I don't know what to do with it and where to put it. I don't have any place to put it. I don't know what to do with it. I guess I have to really buckle down and figure out what I absolutely need or don't need. And everything else is just going to have to go away. It's a pisser. You know, I lived in a big house before. So I had one area that was designated. I could go to it and do craps anytime I wanted to. And then not have to drag it back in the bedroom or the living room or whatever. But not here. I don't have room for pots and pans. <clears throat> it's like Fibber Mickey's closet every time I open the cabinet here. So I've got to figure out something. Anyone who doesn't know who Fibber McGee is. Yeah, I'm old. No, I used to hear about it from my mom and dad. It was an old radio show where... The guy said, well, maybe it's in the closet. And she said, don't open the closet. And he'd open the closet and you hear everything fall out. Clank, 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 boom, boom, crash, crash. <laughs> yeah. I think somebody's sending me a message that he wants to go to bed. I should go to bed. So I guess I will. No, I did not get around to the editing program. Hopefully I can get this stuff done. Now I have it organized in my mind how I'm going to attack all of this. So should be better by tomorrow. Manana, manana, manana is good enough for me. Right? Is that right? Up, up, up. Ah! Upward and onward.